What's going on guys? I'm back with another Bash tutorial, but you already knew that from the title, didn't you? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to use the case statement. Case follows the same idea as the switch statement that we find in C and C++, but if you haven't worked with those languages before, you can think of the case statement as a more sophisticated version of using multiple if-else statements. So you see that I have some code here. This little script just takes the user input in the form of a country. And depending on what country we give as input, our script will tell us what the official language of that country is as the output. So let's see it in action. I'm going to enter Egypt as the country. And sure enough, the script tells us that the official language of Egypt is Arabic. Now that I've run the script, let's walk through the source code. So of course, we get prompted to enter the name of the country, and then we store that string value into the country variable. And then we get this case country n. So this is very similar to saying uh, if country n or if uh, string n country but you see we only have to do it once. We don't have multiple if, else, if, elif comparisons. We just have it once, and then it goes through these different series of comparisons. And of course, these pipes just represent or, so for this to be true, we could enter England or United States or Canada, and then it's going to tell us that English is the official language of that country. And once the case statement finds a case that is true, it then exits. It doesn't actually go through every single one of these cases. So I can show you an example of that if I were to copy, uh, let's go ahead and copy this one here. So this is our third comparison, but I'm going to put it up here and I'm just going to change the language that's going to output. So let's change this to Russian. And it goes through these in order. So if I save this and then run it again, and then I enter the name of the country, what is that, Romania? It's going to tell us that the official language of Romania is Russian. It's going to give us the incorrect answer because it never actually makes it down to that one there that is the correct answer. Now, what if the string that you entered isn't in any of these groups of strings here separated by the pipes? Say, if I ran the script again and I entered Antarctica as the country, it's going to tell us that the official language of Antarctica is unknown because it's all inhabited by penguins and penguins don't talk to each other. They just compare Linux kernels with one another. Now, the reason though that it tells us the language is unknown is because it's running this default case down here. So let's take a look at this. We see that our string comparison we're doing here is an asterisk. And you'll remember from my earlier bash videos that in Bash, an asterisk is a wildcard that stands for any string of any size. So this basically is going to refer to any string, and because it's at the very end, it's only going to return true for any string if it's a string that doesn't get caught by any of these first, because as you just saw, they always go in sequential order. So this case value down here is basically the same thing as your else statement if you were doing multiple if else if else the else of course is what executes as our default value but with case you always want to make sure that it's at the very bottom because if i was to copy this and put it up here i bet you guys can guess what's going to happen why don't you guess what's going to happen Write it down in the comments before I actually execute this. And we'll enter England, because that's totally in our list. But it's gonna tell us that the official language of England is unknown because of course our default case was put before everything else and any string we enter, no matter what, even if I enter just complete garbage, it's going to return true for this asterisk value here. 
All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Hope you learned something from it.